can't trust nobody My partner was a good man and I still shot him I'm just tryna fill my pockets But I can't help it, that's the good Lord Why? Why we gotta die? Why we gotta die? Why we gotta die? Why we gotta die? I just wanna shine, I just wanna shine Let me live my life Hey, so we're on the Portland for the Wake Up Morning Show. <laughs> Back in the building is going down. We got another special guest in the building. Tell the world who you are. Hello, I'm BJ with Mustard Seed Customs. What's going on? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thank you. I want to thank God for the opportunity and thank y'all for having me. It's all love. It's all love. No, I know y'all hot tower. Y'all LinkedIn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, see? <laughs> yeah, we out here. We out here. <laughs> we out here. We out here. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> so what's up with, the, with the Mustard Seeds? What's yes, the Mustard Seed. Um, my brand is about Mustard Seeds. Um, mm-hmm. All you need is faith the size of a Mustard Seed. Have you ever seen a Mustard Seed before? Yeah, it's really small. It's really small. Right. It's all the faith you need to do anything. And in scripture, it says that you can move mountains. That's why my M is a mountain. Mm-hmm. What's higher than a mountain rooted from the ground? God. Rooted from the ground. God oh, is rooted from the ground. Uh, yeah. Nothing, right? Nothing. Hey. And the M in my logo means a lot to me. That's why I want my clothing line to be on top. Okay. Okay. So you put a lot of thought into it. A lot. A lot so you put the same kind of thought into like your clothing designs and all that type of stuff. Everything. Yes. Yeah. I started off matching it to shoes. So mm-hmm. I would take the shoe and any detail in the shoe, I put it into the clothes. So okay. I do a lot of detail. Like what examples you got of a shoe that you put detail? I mean, a shirt that you put detail in from a shoe. Um. Well, this one's for the. I don't know if you know the uh, what the KDs. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got all the different colors on yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I use that shoe and that's how I made this one. Mm-hmm. Right. So do you ever feel like you're crazy sometimes with the creation that you're making this stuff? Like, man, this is too much. I don't know if people gonna like it or like it. Yeah, yeah, but I still put it out. It's yeah. a lot of like this backpack right here. Yeah. So I take the fabric and I sew it on there and put the logo on it. But the fabric could be different colors. The logo could be different colors. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know how anybody would react to you know yeah, the fabric. Yeah. But I still did it because I like it and you know, a lot of people love it. So yeah. a lot of stuff I do is all yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's part of fashion, right? Right, yeah. Um, Taking a risk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long you been doing it? Oh, since 2013. Started okay. in 2013. Like, what's that, five years, six years? Six, six, six years? Six, 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 six. Yeah. That's what I said to me. All right. So, uh, you like the progress that, you, that, that, that you've come? How far you've come? Oh, yes. 2019 has been amazing for me. Uh, I've literally been everywhere in 2019. And I started in 2013. And I took a little break. My dad passed in 2015. So I took a little break, but then uh, got things rolling again. And 2019 has been the best year ever. So. That's what's up. By far. <laughs> so eight months, you got what? Four or five months left? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still have a little while left, and it's going amazing. So, mm-hmm. so what's been so great about the, the year of 2019? 2019, I started off with a big fashion show in Austin. And then I had a lot going on for the trade day events. And I'm going to, one big thing in 2019 that I'm very excited about, I'm going to uh, Vegas Fashion Week. Uh, that's okay. next week. Okay. So, yeah, I'm getting a lot of exposure and I'm learning so much. So, Let's go. Who out there are you looking at that you, like, you idolize or in the fashion industry, I guess? Um, I really like the Off-White brand. Okay. But, that's yeah, that's, right? that's, mm, yeah, okay. that's like who I consider to be competition because I really like his brand. Mm-hmm. So that's who I kind of trying to beat. <laughs> so, yeah, I really like his brand. What's the uh, what's like your main goal out of the fashion? Do you want to have like your own store, or do you want to have like international sales? Like, what's your like the main goal that you're trying to go? Yeah, I do want to have my own store, but I do want to be all over the world. That's my main goal to be the top clothing line in the world. Cause it's a lot of things that I have lined up that you probably never seen that has to do with a clothing line. Right. Which you know, keep y'all updated on that. But yeah, my goal is to be the top clothing line in the world. And is it more so streetwear or is it more so fashion, like high fashion wear? Or is it's it both? Everything. Okay. It's all things for kids, adults, women, men. It's just dress up, dress down, dress right. Everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay
tailored? Yes, I tailored. Yeah. I sew, so I started off. I started off doing pocket tees. That's okay. what it was the whole thing. The pocket matching shoe. Yeah. And then I went to the sleeves, taking the sleeves off and putting the fabric on it. Then I went to zippers on the side. Mm -hmm. And that was, you know, yeah. I, yeah. And then after a while, I went into you know, the vinyl. So would you ever get into like being like a stylist for somebody? Yes, or have you yes, done that? yes. I've styled. College, everyone used to come to me, you know, big homecomings, everybody would come, wait, what should I wear, what should I wear? People dress me all the time. Mm -hmm. Or when they're getting dressed, you know, they're videoing me, like, what should I wear? So like, that's what I would get you like. So how does that make you feel? Like everybody just coming to you looking for like fashion tips today? Like, oh, it made, you know, I get so excited. Yeah. I get so excited now. That's just, you know, what I love, what I love to do, because everyone see, you know, how I dress. So they come to ask me, so when they ask, I'm, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's flattering, or have you ever been like, damn, that nigga's stealing my swag? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, it's, it's flattering. A lot of people, you know, I've seen where come out looking exactly like me. I'm like, yeah, okay, but it's flattering. It's flattering. We both be fly together. That's what's up. So do you kind of like study other 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 high end fashion brands, or like you just kind of like fix yourself? Um, I look at other brands just to you know check it out and see the differences between mine and theirs. But I just kind of stick. I just kind of do it. I just whatever I like, I do it. If you know, I don't know how other people would react to it, but the reaction has been great. Everyone yeah. has loved everything that I've done. All the support has been amazing. So I just kind of go off the dome, just what I feel. Who is the best dressed celebrity to you? That's hard. <laughs> uh, that's hard. Which? Well, let me know. Okay, I'm in here right now. Who is the best dressed rapper to you? Yeah, to me they can't dress. Yeah, they can't dress. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fab is a good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he kind of fell off, he, but he came in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he probably is one of the top. Yeah, he probably one of the yeah. top. Yeah. I can probably win. Now, Russell Westbrook, I love him as a player. But <laughs> I mean, he dressed, I don't know what he's doing. I know, but I yeah, like the way he's like different. Uh, so, so is that, is that kind of like how you do it sometimes? Or yeah, do you kind of. Yeah. 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 So you walk up the house and everybody like, what's going on? Yeah. And he's like, like, I like it. Cool. Yeah. So is it, is it in a sense like the. Uh, all exposure is good exposure. Like if somebody talking bad about your outfit, you think that's a good thing as well. Do they talk about your outfit, or is it like um, you want people to say good things all the time? I've never heard anyone talk bad about my outfit, but yeah. I get sometimes I get like a lot of attention about my outfit, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of like, mm, but I think it's still good exposure. Mm -hmm. Like I had, I, I had the other day. I had I went to Taste Bar, and I had like this this dress, and I just opened it, unbuttoned it, I wore it like as a jacket. And it just it was a lot of tears. Like, that a dress? Yes, it is. Like, you got a picture? I like it. Uh, somebody took a picture of me. I get it. I, I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see it. Yeah, yeah. I invite to see you. But, yeah. Yeah. But you you, you, you want to try to get on that swag? <laughs> nah, I just want to see what an okay. uh, unbuttoned dress looks like. Yeah, yeah. unbuttoned dress. <laughs> I've never seen it before. <laughs> right. <laughs> That'd be funny. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about like the men wearing purses and dresses and stuff? You think that's um I think it depends on how it looks. Like how mm -hmm. I said, the way that I wore it, I feel like it looked, you know, really good. Yeah. So it depends. Like can you see young thug wearing it? Yeah, young thug wearing it. Yeah. Well, I got a question. <laughs> so so how do you feel about men who wear like the bags like I can understand the ones that kind of go across your chest, mm -hmm. but how you feel about the, the man, like the man purses and the man bags, and how they rock that? And to me, whatever you like, like right. just be yourself, do you, right. be you, that's my other little slogan, be you, build and expand your own uniqueness, so right. that's what they like, you know, it makes you unique. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so like, hey, there's no wrong fashion to you. No, not to me, not really. As long 
you wear, right? Like some shoes you seem like these are ugly. Mm-hmm. But you put them on, you have a nice outfit. So well, somebody got a nice outfit on and on fat farm gel toes, they used to come out. They came with some, some confidence. But they might they might bring them back. Maybe. maybe. They might bring them back. So people do that. Right, right. So are there any like trends that you try to bring back sometimes? Uh yeah. I, I actually I was wearing a fanny pack. Nobody had one. Yeah, right. You know, everybody's like, "Wait, why you got that on?" I'm like, "Cause I like it." Mm-hmm. So, I, whenever I like, I just get it. Because, uh, way out of style. I don't care. Then, you know, you wear it right. Everybody like, "Cool, where you get that from?" I'm gonna go get one. Are you a thrifter? Uh, not really. Not just way. You don't like wearing shit that other people wore before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, but can you style somebody that that, that I, has thrifting in their closet? closet? Mm-hmm, yeah, I can go to the strip, the, the thrift, and you know, take something and cut it up. Oh, yeah. It makes some out of it, yeah. but just taking it, just rocking it for what it is. Yeah, not really. I'm not really like that. Some people do it. It's mm-hmm. <laughs> do you, do, are you a signature as well, or do you have people to do it for you? I do it. So you do everything? Yeah. All by yourself, no help? By myself. How long does it take you to like make it? If somebody came and wanted to cut some pizza, like, I got this shirt, I want you to cut the sleeve, these things on, and do this, and then make a pocket. How long would it take you to do that? Honestly, it don't take me that long. I, my brother, he was a comedian, mm-hmm. and he would come to me, I'd just be chilling. He'd come to me at like 10 p.m. Can you please make me a shirt, please? I'm like, when do you need it by? Uh, I'm about to go in like an hour. I'm mm-hmm. like, dude, seriously? Yeah. Please, please don't have anything where I need something new. I'm making like 30 minutes, so it just, it depends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sleeves, everything, 30 minutes, yeah. zippers, all that. That's crazy. It just depends on me, basically, how yeah. fast I move. Mm-hmm. If you motivated or not. Right, right. <laughs> are there any designers in Houston that you kind of like with or are you, you familiar with? Uh, not really. She ain't checking for them niggas, man. She's checking for Virgil. She's checking for Virgil, man. Isaac and Moore. Oh, yeah, Isaac yeah. and Moore, yeah. He's cool. He got some yeah. other shit. Yeah. No, I, I look at his stuff. Yeah. But, and I heard of some other fashion designer that's going to be in the Vegas Fashion Week. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I kind of checked her out a little bit. No, no, not that I don't like it. I don't really just go deep in research, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just kind of look at it, I'm like, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Why do you feel like you don't go deep in research? You feel like you're gonna, like, uh, like fuck with your creativity? I just think, I research, like, like Gucci and things like that just to see how they got started. Right. But, like, researching it into the brand, I don't really do that. Like, you know, studying, like, what they have, I don't do that. Because, to be honest, I have so much stuff, like, in my mind. I'm trying to get out of my mind already that, you know, I just don't dig deep, deep into it. So what is your favorite, like, piece of clothing or art or thing to work with? Like, backpack, slides, shoes, shirts, or, like, what is your favorite? Uh, what do you like to wear? No, just to, like, work with, like, to, to, to create. Oh, to create. Yeah. Um, the genre sets, I really like. Genre sets, yeah. Genre sets. Yeah, the flip-flops are cool. I really like the shirt sets. I really like you know, the shirt sets. Yeah. You know, with the matching shoes. So, whatever goes with the shoe, I really like doing it. I just like, you know, so you a reaction. Yeah, I'm sneaking in. I'm sneaking in. How many? How many? I don't know. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I don't know how many. I have your bags with all this. It's time. over like 200. So many pairs of shoes, like. So every week you like, okay, I gotta get these shoes, I gotta get these shoes. Yeah, I actually have to go on shoe breaks. Yeah. And I just get out of control. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can't buy shoes this week. This, mm-hmm. this, how, this how many shoes? How many? How many? What was the most amount of shoes that you bought in a week? In a week? In a week? Okay, so in a weekend, like remember when I was yeah. down here? Yeah. I bought like eight pairs of shoes that week. Like recently, maybe like five, six. So can you draw? No. You don't want to create your own sneaker? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm actually doing that now. I'm in the works of doing that now. Just so buy your own shoe. Yeah, I actually made my own. I just gotta get it a little. Yeah. I have mustn't see nothing on it. Yeah, yeah. I just gotta get it a little. little What's what you gonna call it? The shoe? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet. It's cool. I just want somebody to kind of create it for me. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's what's up on that. Now we're going to a quick music break. DJ Mop and Pie in the mix to wake up morning show. Let's get it.
before they gave me life. Before they gave me life. I was a young nigga that was raised up in the game. Planning to get my bread up. Used to ease my hunger pain. My teeth don't blow a cane like it was cool with the gangs. Call wind that my old man was a pimp. Now who should I blame? It wasn't the hell of a thing to witness a young nigga get his brains blown. The streets and the tickle the on with some shit that you saw back in Vietnam. Niggas pay you like me a con. Shoot after the street like it's just a storm. And this was the tickle the song. And put the jury guilty. Well, the other kids on the sidewalk playing hopscotch, eating pop rocks. So was sitting inside of a dope house trying to beatbox. Sell a crack rock for an old cat up the west side with a drop top. He told me to keep up the doors locked and move up the one at the mailbox. Was a shell shock, nigga, hell no. Instead of flying and be flying on the ground, the tech searching us for nothing, probably make us get out on get the ground. Out, Young and thug and breaking, running through the cut. Keep the light, my nigga, come on, hurry up. Now they jumping out, selling soap and it's a drop. My, my mama work, call my grandmother, mother. Eight balls, scraping grams on the ball. Juvenile detention, handcuff for nothing. I'ma take my lick, I ain't saying nothing. Hot stove, whipping tan in the gutter, straight drop, rubber band up the money. Big dog, show a nigga fake love. See through the death and the fake hoe. Jump at all, we could take turns. You go to the club, I'ma stay in sir. You stay on the phone, I'ma graduate. Gain a heavy weight, I'ma fetch a burn. Fell in love with a dancer, and she want me to be a manager. I meant to say she was a scrubber. She pretended she was with me. Now I'm fucking all her friends. She be fucking with my niggas. Brown hard at the stacks, you know. Hating me, you're not a factor, no. Offended if somebody asks me. I can't see me going backwards. A young nigga that was raised up in the game. Grinding to get my bread up. With my grantee by the name of Bessie Lee She figured living with my old man would be best for me A lot of rest in peace She used to be praying for you just to bless this G The W-O-O-D, your mother the N-O-R-T-H Town, happy to be the city where my nigga landed I was picking a major game for my old man It was pretty candid But my papa with the trip and he was getting kind of strict And I couldn't stand it So eventually your nigga vanished He was wondering what my little man went there for some bad shit going on So we're back here on the corner 90 for the wake up morning show. Back in the building, back in the building. Still got mustard seeds in the building, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. So what is what, what, what can we expect in the future from mustard seeds coming? Um just gonna keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, more things to come. Like I said, I just so many ideas in my mind. Mm-hmm. So I'll be in Vegas for Fashion Week and then 
I'm coming, I'm gonna have a big fashion show. Uh, looking around to do it around October. Mm -hmm. I want to do it on the day that my dad uh, passed because mm -hmm. it's dedicated to him. So I'll be updating and putting details about that. So you need models and all that? Yeah, it's models, and I want everybody to come out. It's gonna be a great show. So, so what, what would you say to separate you from any other fashion designer like in the world? Um, I just think my mind. I just I've been having these ideas in my mind since I was younger. And I would sketch them and then just ball it up, throw it in the trash, ball it up, throw it in the trash. Then all of a sudden I just started keeping them. And then keeping them, keeping them, I'm like, why am I just keeping them, keeping them? So then I started to do my ideas and as I started seeing all the support and the love and everybody, you know, mm -hmm. loving it, I just, you know, started doing it. So mm -hmm. That would be my difference, so just my mind, my mind is different, everybody's different. Different individuality, huh? Right. Yeah. So you're not the one that like copy somebody else's shit? No, no, no. Mm. Yeah, I see a lot of designers do that, they no. see somebody else's shit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I go straight off the dome. Mm. Mm. That's what's up, that's what's up. I was looking at your little short sets, the short sets is live, but I like yeah. the little short mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I, I like to go be above the knees, you know, yeah. so I can smell it out. Especially the two-tone. Yeah. How'd you come up with the two tone? You just like, okay, let me just try something different. Or just... It's what I like. Mm -hmm. I, I like them like, man, I got, you know, big shoes. I do, you know, shorts half and half. I do the shirts half and half too. Mm -hmm. All the colors in the shoes just put together. Are oh, you the one them. that you, you do the cutting and sewing them together? Yep. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's, <laughs> crazy. That's amazing. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is there anything you want to tell the world before we get out here? You want to pull yourself, tell me anything? Yes, I want to tell everyone um, just have faith. Size of a mustard seed is very small. If you don't know what it looks like, Google it, look it up. That's all you need to do. Anything, anything is possible. My Instagram is msc.13. Follow me, msc.13, for all the updates. On Saturday, I'm going to be at the Big Pokey event, uh, August 10th. All that is on my Instagram, so mm -hmm. just check it out. Where you at? Where is it? Um, I think you the address. It's, 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 it's like a little bit past, you know, past the gallery. Oh, okay. I thought it was a yellow phone, because you always make some of the other stuff. No, 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 no. It's off of 16. Oh, okay, that's what's up, man. Mustard Seed, y'all be believed, man. She's telling y'all to believe it's going down. Mustard Seed Customs, y'all tune in, check it out. Get you some custom wear. It's going down. Get that map of pie, let's get it. Wake Up Morning Show. So, so, yes, sir. Hey, so, you know about Breezy from the Wake Up Morning Show. You guys make sure you check us out 9 30 to 11 30 a.m. These niggas be hating on me because I don't wear bras and. What it do, man? It's the Wake Up Morning Show. I am Filthy Dre. I am DJ Vibe. Hi, And we got my girl right here. Go ahead and tell me who you are. Hello, I'm DJ of Mustard Seed Customs. You can follow me at msc.13 on Instagram. msc.13. Follow her if you want to get fresh. As you can see, it's going down. It's the Wake Up Morning Show. We live Tuesday through Friday, 9 30 to 11 30 a.m. And shout out to our sponsor, Urban Bumball. You can send it on the field.